Okay, Stephen. Um, I realized all those anatomical terms can be uh, difficult to grasp at first, so I'll try to break it down. Um, when I say left loading, I mean that you are kind of going to your right at the in the takeaway, but you are shifting left very soon. Um, this is a problem because um, there will be too much weight on this left foot and as you can see your hips are going into right pelvic tilt and we kind of would like you to stay here and then have the pelvis in left pelvic tilt in this transition so by le loading left uh, this is a move you cannot do and you can't reuse what you already used so um, trying to stay into your right heel and stay there maybe um, during the backswing would help okay and when I talk about spine extension it's this kind of leaning toward the target you can see your head moves toward the target and the pelvis if you if you prefer instead of staying in flexion, in overall flexion, your upper spine goes towards the target a little too much and uh, this triggers a problem in the pelvis and um, this also tells me that you might be right lateral bending at the same time because typically those movements go together so try and stay more in overall flexion A good example of this would be Victor Rodriguez. It's a bit extreme, but he's on the other side of the equation. So if you look at the top, his spine is in overall flexion and he's right loaded. Now, talking about right lateral bend, I'll just take a look at your down the line. This is not perfect uh, camera angle. The camera is too much uh, towards the ball. It should be uh, between the ball and the feet. Um, exactly it should be in line with the hands anyway um, I'll try to break it down for you but um, and it, the camera is moving s a little bit but it seems stationary uh, when you start the swing so as you can see at the top you moved towards the ball uh, it's not a perfect angle again but uh, giving, given the movements that I see uh, you are definitely moving towards your toes and um, this make a few things happen um, again not perfect camera angle but uh, the shoulder are, are kind of flat flattish and this part of your torso is curved that way which indicates right lateral bend and uh, this is a movement that we would like to use in transition and towards the, the, the end of the swing and as you can see here you have a spine that's very straight and in flexion. It means that you you cannot uh, use a spine extension, um, proper and lumbar lordosis, which would be curving the the back that way, and it should happen in transition. And um, the spine extension that you are doing in the backswing is preventing you from reusing it uh, in the downswing. So, in the downswing. Uh, the abs that are here have been stretched uh, in the backswing because of this spine extension and now they are firing and they are putting your spine in flexion instead of lateral bend. We would like to see this right sh left shoulder, we would like to see more of your back and we would like to see lumbar lordosis here, so kind of an S shape kind of thing and you are more in a C shape like this. Okay, so a cool video that illustrates what I just talked about is Boba Watson. I just switched him to right-handed. Uh, as you can see, the camera is not perfectly still, but um, maybe I'll take a, a better stationary camera, like this one. Yeah, um, this one is better. You can see that he's not moving towards the ball. He actually has moved away from the ball. He has the right ribs.
well it's his left ribs but uh, picture your right ribs rounded and pushing back this would lead to left lateral bend and um, you might be able to create proper right lateral bend on the downswing which would give you more rotation and it would um, therefore increase your ability to retain um, lag and also to avoid uh, the rolling that happens into your release okay so now for shoulder movements um, we'll, t we'll take a look at the face on first okay so here you can see in mid downswing we can see that your right elbow is here this indicates uh, internal rotation of the shoulder which would be the shoulder moving that way this, in, uh, this is a closing type of movement and yet we can see a lot of your club face uh, whereas it should be pointed more towards the ball this indicates me that you have uh, the reverse kind of opening closing um, movements your right shoulder actually closes the face and since it's still opened uh, it means that your forearm should be super knitting okay so uh, what you could picture is Keegan Bradley actually I'm going to take a little um, time on your down the line if you can see your right shoulder is like this which is already into internal rotation and it's moving to more internal rotation you actually have you actually willing, winning the battle in uh, arm wrestling you can see your forearm is moving there and the right elbow is behind the hip it's stuck and you have to keep it uh, in check and uh, make sure you do not fire it too much but it happens anyway and it uh, creates a lot of rolling action in the impact area so try to picture th something like Keegan okay so we are going to use Keegan here so as you can see uh, his right elbow, his forearm is going to go in this kind of direction and the uh, elbow is going to drive in front of the right hip there you go so he has space and um, as you can see the club face is closed so this movement of the shoulder going from external rotation to uh, to, to internal rotation sorry to external is an opening club face movement yet his club face is closed so rotation is coming from the forearm who are pronating right is pronating left is supinating right shoulder is externally rotating and left shoulder is extern internally rotating so you're doing exactly the opposite and uh, here from there Keegan has lag, he has space for his elbow um, he has more low doses than you and he will develop better right lateral bend which will allow him to have stable hands in the impact area whereas you are internally rotating this shoulder supinating this right forearm and I think you're doing yeah, because all those movements are mirrored you are doing the opposite so we have a club face that is open it should be cool to have a higher frame, frame rate but it's open and right after impact maybe the first perfect position we can get well, as you can see here, tons of rotation, so a um, bit of a flip because of this uh, bad shoulder movement, a uh, bit of a flip because of uh, inappropriate spine movements that uh, impede your rotation, uh, and when your lower body and spine stops, the arms are to take over and the roll occurs. Uh, somebody that you could copy maybe uh, for the proper shoulder movements would be JB so it's an extreme version but 
you get the, the picture this is internal rotation and it gets to external rotation and as you can see what happens to the forearm it goes from here to there that's the extreme of positive of what you are doing but it would be a good goal to focus on that because uh, patterns are hard to reverse so always try to go extreme take a video and make sure that you, something at least changed if it's not it means there, uh, there are other things at work that prevent you from doing the move or that you are not ex exaggerating enough okay and one, one last thing that would uh, take care of a, a part of this movement uh, would be but I already talked about it would be going from left lateral bend to right lateral bend and it already takes uh, charge of a part of the elbow move so part of the elbow move which would be going forwards and driving towards the umbilic um, and also go, uh, the shoulder going into its external rotation um, all these movements are helped tremendously by proper spine movement so going from left lateral bend to right is already taking care of a bit of this movement so try to work on all of these um, on the backswing slightly more right lateral bend, uh, left lateral bend sorry so having the idea of uh, rounded right ribs pushing away from the target which would help loading the right heel um, try to stay a little bit more in overall spine flexion uh, not having the upper spine going from there to there in the last uh, part of the backswing um, and also uh, reverse your opening and closing um, movements the shoulders are supposed to open the face and the forearms are supposed to close the face if you had an extreme strong grip uh, you could have the forearms remaining neutral but right now with your kind of grip you definitely have to have counter rotation movement from the forearm so the right hand is pronating the right forearm is pronating the left forearm is supinating and the shoulders are both opening the, pl the club face okay i hope it's, uh, it clears a lot of things up and it will help uh, other members and uh, if you have any questions uh, feel free to post. See you.